So, Benny, we can start, but there's always technical I- yeah. issues to start with. That is so true. But, Ben, are you deaf or are you all good? No, I'm, I'm all good. Well, this, it was you last week, to be fair, man. No, but mine was an actual issue. Yeah. <laughs> MJ, <laughs> that was mine. Just for, just for the people that can't see, Ben was complaining that he couldn't hear anything. Oh, well, I couldn't. That's MJ fact. walked in and in two seconds could Literally hear everything. So. He just put MJ the, is magical, obviously. He's he obviously put got the a magic headphones touch. on. Yeah. yeah, he's got a magic touch. Yeah. Or maybe you're going deaf and bold. Um, just <laughs> <laughs> tell you who's got the magic touch. The two of you. Because we've got... About a second double winners. It doesn't happen often. There's an extra spring in the step of the podcast when you both come in as winners. So it's only the third time ever. Third ever. In like the history not in of your nine careers. years. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. And we were saying <laughs> the other day that twenty percent of Ben's career wins have come in the last three weeks. <laughs> That's amazing. Which is quite it's yeah. quite well, I'm, something. I'm up to ten. Yeah. Which oh, is, you've cracked double digits now. Round of oh, applause, thought, mate. Yeah, well done. Yeah, <laughs> ten more than me. A couple of the boys was going to say they're going to ch- chair me off for my tenth. Imagine <laughs> <laughs> that. Like, What's this bloke doing? Getting chaired off. <laughs> Tom <laughs> Hawkins <laughs> and you. <laughs> Tom Hawkins is both three hundred and fifty. <laughs> ben celebrating his tenth win. Tenth win. <laughs> oh, that's great. Well, I'm going to try and celebrate my third win here because yeah. it's time for this or that. He's mucked up again. Yeah. What? I hate being modest, but I haven't won three. No, I think I'm three. All right, scratch yeah. that. I reckon I'd be three, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> no, I reckon you're <laughs> Who two. Who knows? I don't trust this thing at all. This score sheet. All right, here we go. Um, this or that this week. So the word is Portobello. So P-O-R-T-O-B-E-L-L-O. Well, I think I know what it is. Yeah, well, I, th- I, was th- I thought of this that you might, but Ben definitely won't. <laughs> so Portobello, is it full-grown button mushroom? Or a Tory Lane song from the 2021 album Playboy. Mushrooms. Yeah, mushroom. Is that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're right. <laughs> I, yeah. That's one of your words. Wasn't my best one. I said I was rushed today. I just I literally got home. <laughs> the word is doorbell. <laughs> <laughs> is it? <laughs> is it A, a doorbell? <laughs> um, all right, we're away. Nice Dang. start. I think we'll start with a grab from James from Greensboro. We've had a, uh, an all-time record for voice Jimmy. messages wow. yep. that were sent in, so we might as well get stuck into a few of them. This one's for you, Ben. Hey, guys. It's James from Greensboro, and I had a question for Ben today. I was just wondering how your lungs have been feeling so far this season, considering how much you've had to sing at the end of games. I know it's, <laughs> it is new for you to be singing this much so early into the season. <laughs> how are the lungs? I saw, I'm not sure if he's referencing something on Twitter that someone posted. Yeah. <laughs> we were at, um, at mum and dad's for lunch on Sunday and, and Hannah sent, our sister sent in a, a screenshot of the bloke on Twitter that said something around that. Yeah, so yeah, it was yeah. quite funny, but the lungs are, are holding up just so. Yeah. <laughs> Have you got a camera on Ben when he's singing the song? Like, does he know it? I haven't seen you yet, but you know the words. Yeah. You're the king of songs. Well, you did. well that's right. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> this was the last year. <laughs> no, I, um, I'm two from, two from two. In terms of singing it and nailing it, so yeah. Well, we did grow up Essen supporter, so we sort of knew the words anyway. So um, yeah, I'm alright. Yeah, practice makes perfect, they say. Rollo, so. nice. Well, uh, and what well, I mate? Was it, are we playing on the question? Or? No, we may as well. We may as well delve into that. So, one. Yeah, what I mate? I thought you were pretty good on the weekend. Belting game. Thanks. Yeah, it was, it was loud under the Marvel. Yeah, I think it was forty five thousand there, which is um, the loudest I'd heard Marvel. Yeah, uh, it was awesome. The the Saints are really good in the first half and. Um, again, in, inaccurate, probably heard him being more ahead in the game um, before half time. But there's probably a period, I reckon, 10 minutes to go before um, the end of the second quarter where we probably felt like we turned a bit of the momentum and um, mm. went into half time with a bit of confidence. So, and then just the ability to grind out, a, you know, a win tight, um, it was, was pretty cool to be a part of. So, yeah, it's amazing. Like, it in Harry can attest, but in those close games when one team needs to score to win you're on edge because it's only two or three kicks and they can be down, you know, and, yeah. um, we can be defending our, you know, all for our lives. So we're on red alert, but um, to be able to hold up and um, yeah, it was a pretty cool day to be a part of. So even for Gresh, who was playing against his old team, um, you know, it was really cool to get a, a win for him and um, yeah. yeah, obviously starting the season on a pretty high note, um, you know, two and one. So it was cool to be a part of on a rocking Marvel. It was awesome. Happy yeah. with your own game or probably down the RFI, it's just probably get off the... Back off your mark a couple of times. Yeah, I had a couple of them. Where I, <laughs> no, that's not feedback. That's, that's your only fair. one probably at the moment. Just, yeah, there was a couple. Might you can still last hit that quarter. kick, but just get back. Just give yourself a chance. No, I know, mate. 
We do have coaches in the club. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> no, I don't know. It's a fair point. <laughs> I was all right. I think I've, I've said it before, but um, I think it was the first time you know, in a while, especially all year probably, that the synergy between us defenders is really sharp. And it, yeah. um, the connection is what you know I feel is the most important at being a new player. Um, so that felt really sharp. And um, obviously, it's a work in progress. But yeah, I thought we were pretty good down back. And um, yeah, had some good moments, some poor moments, as you said. But I feel like I'm building okay, so... I've been seeing a lot of uh, like Essendon fan pages on Instagram and stuff. Loving your work. You've yeah, really well, found your spot. Intercept marking. Prefer to be on that side of the fence than the other, mate. Yeah. But, um, uh, and it must be fun playing with a guy like Jake Stringer. Just a genuine excitement machine. Yeah. Game winner. Loves yeah. the moment. Yeah. Just that was he, cool. What was it? 55, 60 meters yeah. out. Yeah. Um, late angle. in the game. I I had confidence. Like, obviously, obviously a big shot. But, um, you know, knowing him, he just, they're the things he, he kicks, you know. He just yeah. gets a... The difficult ones. Um, but, yeah, we probably had a couple more shots after that to probably really put it away. But, um, man, it was a good game of footy and it was uh, yeah, cool to be a part of. I think the fans enjoyed it and everyone um, watching from home seemed like they thought it was a good game of yeah. footy. So, yeah, happy to be built. on the right end of it. Uh, we'll move on to Carlton H and we may as well start with Melissa. Hi guys, it's Melissa from Mount Evelyn here. Just wanted to say it was such a good day on Friday um, at the Good Friday Clash and I just felt like Zach Fisher was feeling the love throughout the game from his ex-Carlton teammates. Obviously everybody's still on good terms. Just wanted to know, Ben, do you think you're going to get the same reception when Essendon play ooh, North for ooh. the first time? Or do you think you're going to have a bruised toe that day and not play? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, good luck for Gather Round and go Blues. Oh, did, did he do a jumper swap? Him and Rick did, yeah. Wow. The, I don't the, mind that. Yeah. No, it's cool. I reckon we've talked about it a little bit before. Yeah, I love a jumper yeah, swap. I reckon maybe we should do it a bit more. Yeah. yeah. Um, I but teed up it, before the game, or was that a yeah? Sort of fish and yeah. obviously Cripper are really good mates. So, um, well, I don't think it was. Yeah, it was. It was, it was strange playing against Fish. Obviously, been you know playing with him for seven or eight years. So yeah. a little bit strange, but um, yeah, I think once the ball bounced, it was pretty business as usual. But yeah, there was there was a little bit of funny um, bit of banter and um, bit of yeah. love. So yeah, good to see Fish doing well. But um, some of the North fans are pretty funny. I reckon. I'm not sure if Melissa was referring to whether they'll boo you or is that what I'm not yeah, sure. I assume so, something like that. But yeah. some, to, some of the couple of times I took marks like on the boundary line, some of the North fans were speaking as if I was you. They were like, why'd you leave? And then I was like booing and yelling. <laughs> that's funny. And I was that's laughing to fun of them. I was like, that's pretty funny. Um, <laughs> that's good. It'd like, oh, be funny when Ben plays because it um, might be even more. But yeah, yeah. it's um, yeah, it's obviously, and you talked about Gresh, it, would be difficult, I guess, coming against your yeah, club. But the first time he touched the ball, I think the Saints fans got into him. But the Essendon supporters like matched their booing with their cheering even louder. Yeah. So it was actually a really cool moment. Well, yeah. I don't know. Did the, Fish? I don't think Fish got booed. Not that I remember. Which is great. No. I, no. Hats off to our fans. That's great. I reckon. Like Fish, obviously, you know whatever happened at the end of the year and fresh start another club, but gave his all for seven eight years and. Um, mm. Yeah, he's indebted to the Carlton Footy Club and um, always gave his best for us. So for the fans to, I think they were applauding him nearly when he got the ball, which is really cool. I like that. Helps when you're 50 Respect. points up, I guess. Yeah, correct. <laughs> but I'm sure I don't think it's a bad thing for the game at all. So yeah. well done to our fans. Have you spoken to some players like Gresh about that experience? Because it, it's yeah. it's coming up and yeah, he said you'll get he, booed. He, he made a joke before the game that, because we played St Kilda in the practice game. Yeah. So he was, he was making a statement around, I'd... You know, I was playing my um, old team twice before, you know, me and Goldie and, and Xavier played it once. Yeah. But um, well, to be fair, they might cheer Ben because didn't they get McCurch off the back of Ben leaving? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Well, yeah, they might be cheering for him. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> re- stand innovation That's when Ben gets the ball. A fair whack. They're, oh, they're good players, man. They're, yeah, they will be, absolutely. It will be so, easy that you'll share it with other players, though, I guess. Yeah, obviously, hopefully Goldie will be there as well. So, mm. um, oh, but it, it's a part of sport. Who, who really yeah. cares? It's, you know. Obviously, if they're booing you, they miss you to some degree, maybe. I don't know. But, yeah. Um, look forward to that day. Um, but as we were saying, Ben, unfortunately, you didn't sneak into the seven AFL team of the week this week. What's but that mean? Guess, yeah. who, guess who did? Big H here. Wow. He's found, he's found oh, his way. So, perfect. I mean, Thank you. You must, well, you must be proud. Thanks, man. As, as now both members of the team, <laughs> yeah. he, he, Ben can welcome you. <laughs> Throw me around <laughs> for a bit of company. <laughs> 
<laughs> and and it's also worth noting uh, because but, I know you guys aren't big on the individual accolades week by week, but yeah. you now have the second most coaches, coaches votes in the comp yeah. after a perfect nice. display. I've always thought um, that is the fairest. Like, if you're ever wanting to judge a game, like obviously we, we take the piss about it, like the media awards and stuff. But yeah. that is the one where you you look because coaches they watch the game back, they watch for so many more things than yeah. Yeah. kicks, marks, handballs. So. Yeah, coaches, um, their take on the game is for me the most important. Yeah, because they see everything and they know all the detail of it. So, yeah, not talking about necessarily that's what you want to try and win or anything, but like, yeah, yeah, getting good feedback from coaches is the best thing. And yeah. I like that defenders and ruckmen have a chance of winning. It yeah, as well. it's, like such saying... an, it's such an even thing. I yeah. completely agree. It's as a player, it's the one thing you don't strive to win it, but it's like, yeah, that's a it's a nice moment when you're um, acknowledged. You yeah, know, from both coaches as well. So on the scale yeah. of 10 coaches votes in the seven AFL team of the week, does... don't make me do that. <laughs> do you have a coin to flip? We can... <laughs> no, but uh, well, in Harry's case, he got both. So it was a very good yeah. performance on the week. And you must be happy with how your, your form is. You, you, you can't miss. Uh, yeah, I think it's been nice to start the season relatively consistent. Um, I think just as a team, we're playing some pretty good footy at the moment. Yeah. And everyone, and that sounds cliche, but everyone's enjoying playing their role. Um, enjoying like how we're defending and how we're playing for each other more importantly than anything. And um, yeah, we're all playing some pretty consistent footy off the back of that. So um, yeah, it was a really cool game to be part of. It's probably, Ben said, we talked about it last week, but it's probably one of the funnest games. The build up, the the crowd, the, the week mm. in itself. Um, really cool game to be part of. So yeah, I thought we were really strong. And um, what we wanted to bring for that game, we, we really um, yeah executed to a high level. So it was a good game. We have a message here from Dr. Jake, who is the man that I think you shared a lift with recently, Harry. Must be, yep. G'day, Harry and Ben and Rollo. Thanks for the shout out last week on the pod. I was the RCH doctor in the lift. It was really good to see the Blues boys visiting. I think it made the staff at the Royal Children's Hospital more excited than the kids, but it was great to have you there. You were the hot topic on all the wards last week. Happy Easter. Go Blues. Nice. Oh, no, oh, yeah. So we weren't talking rubbish. We, actually, <laughs> we didn't make it up for some doctor like our show. Oh, Jake, good on you, mate. That's awesome. Thank you. Uh, speaking of your goals, five, wasn't it, on the weekend? Yep. So we, you had a lot of uh, opportunities to celebrate. And Matt Cottrell is one of the many people who has gotten in touch on the Instagram at Cuts. Ben and Harry podcast. Uh, Harry, what are you thinking with your goal celebrations? <laughs> Cheers, mate. That's just <laughs> That's a, a written question from Cotters. Just a type message from Cotters. Well, I'm not sure how you want me to answer that, Cots, but um, honestly, well, I didn't, I didn't really celebrate too much, did I? No, we were talking about it last week because like, I don't think I gave... you need to give it more. Maybe is that what he's? It's it's just kind of the double fingers out. Yeah, but that's only from one on the left hand side. <laughs> he's got it all mapped out. <laughs> no, when you when you ki- so when you kick from that side, because your natural progression is you start running like yeah, as yeah. you've kicked it, you run back to the center as the ball is floating, and that's kind of more of a natural. I think to put your finger up or to kind of celebrate like that. So what? that's, yeah. I'm, I'm lost. <laughs> no, <laughs> hang on. If you're, kicking the, if you're kicking the ball from the left-hand boundary, right? Left foot. Yeah. So that, that's the goal. I'm kicking from here. When you kick, your natural, my natural kick, you follow your kick a bit. So you start running. You're going to run me. arc to the right. So you sort of track the ball. No, once you've, as, if, as in once you've kicked the ball. Yeah. And, and the ball is kind of on its flight path through the goals. You're kind of like running momentum. Like you start running. Yeah, I get, you know I get what I mean. Yeah. 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 So you kind of run as the Tra- ball's going yeah, through. Yeah, tracking the ball as it goes over. Yeah. Right. And how does that change the celebration? That's Well, it just because you're already you're kind of running on the move. Already, momentum, so it's, I it's, think it's a bit easier just to you know, point your finger at the crowd or whatever because you're already running. Yeah. Yeah. Do you reckon yeah. if you kick a goal this weekend, can you do something more elaborate? Like yeah, some of the do soccer one? One like, for the podcast. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I'm just, as no, I said, the first thing is to get first, around the teammates. The first one, you kick of the day, just, I don't know. My priority, as I said, is to get around your teammates, celebrate them for. The block that they did, or the advantage kick that they did. Can, can we have a podcast? But Cots is like, mate, you're not a, you're not some hero because you did you've done two. It's like, <laughs> jeez. What about it? What about two fists from the microphone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does optically that look great? <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't look great. What if it's just like just that no, in front of you? Even worse. Two if fists you, if you can of... think of a good podcast one, <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll do it. All right, great. Might not be this week, but that's fun. That's a good podcast hey. topic. That's and and how about best best one gets a t-shirt? If we um, does that work? Like a pay for a <laughs> for podcast? <laughs> what does that say? I'm gonna look like an idiot. I'm gonna be trying to figure out. What yeah, it has to be something really basic, really simple. Because you're not gonna do it otherwise. <laughs> you're not gonna do a phone like. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'll give it some thought. Yeah. Send us through some suggestions, maybe, as well. <laughs> some suggestions, but realistic ones that Harry might actually do. Yeah. Um, That's cause, a good point. Because you're dominating. It's, uh, it's Gull City 2024. Wow. Process, remember? We're Process. Right. Try it. Yeah, you're not the rock star every week. You're not the rock star. Right. Right. <laughs> you're going to let down your friends and family at some point. <laughs> as you said last year. Uh, like a quote in the paper. <laughs> that was so funny. Good work we did that didn't even mention our podcast, you know? I know. I was dirty on that. Yeah, Mackay said. Like, on, on the Ben on, and Harry on, podcast. He said on a podcast. Did it really say yeah, on a podcast? It didn't say oh, on the Ben and Harry podcast. That's shocking. Yeah, following the popularity of last week. So Ben absolutely on the floor. Well, it was three. He won three. Zero. Oh, three zero. What more do you want? There was only three. Domination. Like, I'm, 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 he didn't like sweep the sweep the floor. He won three. So <laughs> from what do you mean sweep the floor? Three from three is a sweep. Yeah, it was it. a shutout. Yeah, but it was only three. So well, if you're playing in a tennis game, if you won three three sets to zero, yeah. that's a domination. Yeah. Yeah, but so, in the six game. I, yeah. I'm that's, sure if you ask the Brisbane Lions, they'd love one from their three. <laughs> who knows? <laughs> that's right. All right. So this is nearest the pin. <laughs> I'm going to name a player. We'll do three again. Okay. So if we, I want to go zero and six. <laughs> Mate, <laughs> just... All right. Pride on the line. I'm going to name a player and you have to tell me how many games they've played. Mm -hmm. It's a bonus point if you get it right. Exactly On right. the dot, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Dot, then, yeah. Absolutely, it's a bonus point. So you've got to write them down too so you're not getting inspired by the other person's mm -hmm. guess. All right. We start with an icon, a king, Mark Rusciuto. Oh, Jesus. So they should both be in the ballpark, I reckon. Tough. It's a fraction before our time, I reckon. <laughs> oh, really? I'm ready. Ben, uh, you go first. 305. 305. Yep. I said 301. Oh. 300. And 12. Ben's yeah. got it. Ben's got the <laughs> point. <laughs> Ben's got the first. Oh, no. Oh, this it's is, a good guess, 301. Yeah, That's not... Yeah. Yeah. This is the Why 301, though? <laughs> Why'd you, excuse me. Why'd you say 305? Just a question. All right. We'll go a little a little bit niche this time. Max Rook. Geelong. Geelong player. 33, two -time, didn't he? War 33. Yeah. Two-time premiership player. Yep. Got it. Locked right. and loaded. Yeah. Right. You're happy. Harry first. Right, Harry first. 132. Ben. 170. 135. Harry well, that was is, three games off. That is, that, is, your bonus that is tidy. No, no, no. no. Bonus well, that's close. Bonus yourself. points are rare. <laughs> very so, rare. So this is the decider. I'm back. Right. This Here is what we, we live for. Here we go. This is perfect. This is what we wanted. All right. For the win, a player you have both now played with. <laughs> Will Setterfield. Setters. Okay. Yeah. Three clubber. Mm -hmm. He's played games at all three. This is tough. Pick five in the 2016 national draft. <laughs> you still haven't written anything down, either of you. All right. Ben, you go first. Ben first. 85. Harry. 68. <laughs> now, hang on. <laughs> oh, wow. For the record, Harry has won it, <laughs> but I'm not sure how close. You may be dead on because Wikipedia could be wrong here. I reckon you might have a bonus point on your hands. Let me have a check. Uh, Wikipedia said 67, but it might not be up to date. So congratulations, Harry, first Thanks. of all. That's, See, a, that's that, just what we love. We love a that is a real story good like win. that. So. Oh, it's 69. He's played two more since then. Wow. That's a very good that's guess. That's clinical. Thanks, Rib. Clinical. It was 2-1, mate. Oh, he got... But that's... His two were, his that's two were as, incredible. That's, that's as good as it gets, really. <laughs> You'd rather that than the sweep, I reckon. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, that's great. And Jeez. remember, even the one I lost, I was only 13 off. Yeah. Ten well done, mate. Congratulations, you won. Thank you. 10 coaches votes. Yeah. Campbell Brown's got him at full forward. Brownie. Big Browno. And now he wins that. All right. Who's got this? How did we go last week? We, we said last week, if you were able to leave a review on Apple. Yeah, we got heaps. Oh, yeah. Jag a t-shirt. So we, we got a few. Uh, a lot, actually. Gibby, was it? Yeah, W. Gibby. 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 <laughs> Is that the winner? Dabby Gibby. I like yeah, it. Yeah, we'll give Gibby. Who, Gibby. who wants to read our Gibbies? Yeah, well, well, it's a dig at Ben. I reckon I'll read it. Read it. <laughs> it's an old... Anyway. W. Gibby said... Gave it five stars, which is not yeah. the norm, but important. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's important. Love this podcast. Move over New Heights. There's a new band of football brothers in town and they're showing you up. 
Love the bands. Love the AFL insight. Just one small criticism. <laughs> More info needed on why Ben chose number 32. Yes. Well, other than that, great pod. At least he listens. At least he knows somebody. He's asking for jokes. some more clarity. So, you, Yeah. What does he need clarity on? <laughs> well, he's just he's interested in it, I he guess. He loves the pod, but Ben won't tell us why. He, he, he knows where to find it. <laughs> well, he can't find it anymore because he took it down. Gone. Yeah, because you guys are bullying me about this it. This might be like the third episode people have listened to and they actually don't know actually, why. They're, they're genuinely I, I got given it. By I just why. got given it. Yeah. <laughs> there was the only number available. So. Well, all right, I'm mate. Grinch. <laughs> Grinch. He's back, the you Grinch. You can't put your own nickname I'm not the me. Grinch, mate. <laughs> yes, you are. Well, who's been the Grinch right? so far? You can't put your own nickname on someone Grinch. How am I the Grinch? Yeah. You have to be Grinch. You are. How? Yeah. But who's been the Grinch, Drek? And if you were like, in, if you were new you. to... Absolutely you. How am I Ben's ever down. the Grinch? Because. You just are. Ben, Ben's buckets, you're Grinch. I'm yeah. Rollo. Just... I'm not Grinch, mate. <laughs> and this is... Why is the sky blue, but... And this is Twinners and Losers. Ben and Harry's. I'm so excited for this. Twinners. Birds often think I'm a treat. And <laughs> Losers. I hate cheese. Oh, my God. Are you still hating cheese? Yeah, what's oh, yeah. go with that? Yeah, I'm oh, yeah. You, So, just to clarify, you have it on pizza. <laughs> We've had this discussion before, yeah. but yes. But just to clarify, yep, yep. So I you had, just um, you forget about you dislike well, cheese. Well, you don't like tomatoes, right? Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Don't lie. I'm not lying. You are. No, I'm not. If we ask mum, the food growing up you didn't <laughs> yeah, like was tomato. When I was growing up, but I'm, my palate so you, has matured you, and I you, like tomatoes now. So if I had a tomato right here, you'd eat it? Yep. No worries. <laughs> it's such a lie. No, it's not. I always have tomato. <laughs> you don't. Whenever we have <laughs> get a sandwich, you always ask for no tomato. No, I don't. I you honestly do. don't. Hand on heart, you do. So, fair luck. And you oh, ask for no you, cheese. Yes, I do. You can give him the you cheese swap. and you can have tomato. <laughs> when we were young, the I don't know if we've said this before, but say if we used to go to Macca's or something. Ben would go walk up and say, hi, can I please have a cheeseburger with no cheese? No, I wouldn't get a cheeseburger. Yes, you did. You've done that multiple times. I'd get the chicken burger. The bloke would just look at you thinking, you're stupid. Yeah. No, there's no, actually, I'm, there's I'm actually a name the... for that. There's a name for that. Oh, I can't remember what it's Hamburger. called. Hamburger. <laughs> it's, it's called a junior burger. That's is, it, is that cheeseless? Yes. A, a cheeseless. So you have a kid's burger because you don't eat cheese. It's called a junior burger. A what, cheeseless... What's in it? Just everything else. Everything else but cheese. Yeah. Oh, because I'm on the cheese bandwagon. I don't like it. I, I order burgers without cheese. Yeah, but. Not to that extent. You wouldn't order the cheeseburger. No. Well, I'd get nuggets. That's what I'd You'd get a junior burger. Is yeah. a cheeseburger with a cheese. You'd get a junior burger. Junior burger. Juniors. Yep. We'd yeah. love it for someone to clarify that that works at Macca's, <laughs> yeah, please. please. Um, I'll go first. Or sponsor us while you're Yeah, <laughs> well, that's right. Even better. Um, I'll go first. Yep. We mentioned briefly the Good Friday game, but um, my Twitter is Little Imogen, who uh, did the coin toss with Cooper and um, Jai. I thought that was a beautiful moment. Yeah. Watching on TV. And Channel 7 had a, a little kid, was it Archie, who was doing the boundary... Um, commentary with Richo, I think it was. Yeah. So my Twitter is how all parties were involved in making it for the kids, especially Imogen. It was a beautiful moment. Yeah. So well done. Yeah. Well, maybe on that, I've got a separate Twitter, but we can hijack it as well. We had um opportunity to walk the purple carpet with a few young oh, kids. Oh yeah, true. That was really Ava cool. was um the kid, the young kid. I was lucky enough to walk in. So she was lovely. And shout out to everyone who organised that because it was yeah. a beautiful yep. moment. All the kids, just rock stars. Yeah. And, the, and the ones part of the, the coach's press conference. Yeah. 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 Oh, so cool. The way Imogen carried herself just at the coin toss was amazing. Big yeah. smile on her face. And yeah. both credit to, or credit to both Cripper and Jaza. They did it really well. Yeah. If there's any doubt that the Good Friday game should continue, oh. it's just like, it's an absolute no-brainer when you yeah. see these it, kids and what it means. Both clubs did it amazingly well. Well done. Yeah. yeah. Nice. An easy win straight out of the gate with the yeah. twin. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's like a oh no, it's just, volley, just a it? home run. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with oh, it. Oh, jeez, I get criticised. <laughs> oh, that was hey, a was criticism. So <laughs> you just had it. You just had it there, and you put it away for four. Well, that's right. Yeah. On the hip, four runs. Yeah. <laughs> well, I actually had a few. To I was tossing up between. You know, do we go down the Good Friday path? Um, maybe something completely different. I thought, are you a Beyonce fan? Oh, I am. Yeah. New um, country album yeah. just come out. I think yeah. that's pretty cool. Shout out to Beyonce. Listen um, to it start to finish, yeah. Yeah. Have you? Yeah. What are you, what are you, top, maybe we can talk off air, but three songs. Oh, I don't know them by title. So I, need to, I need to go through it in more depth, but. Yeah, yeah is pretty fun. Yeah. Um, is, it, is it Texas Hold'em? Is that one? Texas Hold'em's the, the, oh, first, that was the first single. Oh, that's, yeah. that's, that's a tune. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, a banger. Like that one. Yeah. If you like that, there's a few more like that. Yeah. And then there, and there's heaps of cameos. Post Malone's on yeah, there. Yeah, Post Malone, Miley Cyrus. Really? Yeah, Miley Cyrus, Willie Nelson. Willie Nelson. It's yeah. cool. Nice. So well done, that was cool. Um, <laughs> well done, Beyonce. Yeah, that was that, that was a twinner, but yeah. also um, we had lunch on on Sunday as a, with the family, and Ben usually, you know, you know, he sometimes has to bring the rocky road. Um, 
yeah. I decided to change up and bring like a caramel slice and <laughs> put some very good feedback that it's you know, quickly late oh, frog no. bends, rocky road. So this is the difference. Like I'll say, yeah, it was nice. No worries. But if she was another foot, <laughs> you would crack it. It was, a, it was a nice caramel slice. Thanks, mate. Thanks, thanks mate. Right, I really good. appreciate it. Did you know he was making caramel slice? Well, no, I didn't. So, <laughs> it's just tread on your territory. Oh, it's fine, mate. Well done for making it. Yeah, well, it I'm, was nice. Yeah, yeah. What more do you want me to say? Like I, I'm not asking you to say anything. Good. Just saying it was. <laughs> that was a twinner. Was, the caramel slice was nice. Your own, <laughs> your caramel own sli- caramel on, slice is your twinner. On, it was executed well. <laughs> um, no, you got to be proud of your work. I, I, well, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Um, my, I've got. I've really got no. a loser to be honest. Like, oh, he's got to. No, my loser was the the supermarket was closed on Friday. Yeah, that well, is annoying. So this this rolls into kind of similarish one, but just the idea around so like cafes and stuff that are closed over the Easter weekend. I understand there must be like a staffing issue, but then the cafes that are open are absolutely pumping and do yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. So I just love to be taken into that decision making around. All right, is it worthwhile opening or do we take the yeah. weekend off? Because it must be that hard to find staff. Yeah, it must be because... Because yeah. they're often all away, I imagine. But then everything that's open is like 15% surcharge yeah. and it's not a holiday. Yeah. It's Saturday. Right, Saturday. It's just no, it is now, isn't it? Is it? Saturday. Saturday. Oh, yeah, it's a public holiday. Friday. I thought they'd change it. Yeah, anyway. Oh, we're delving into areas yeah. we don't That was my one. loser, yeah. Just a bit of a joint one, hey? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Shock inflation. <laughs> inflation of traffic. Yeah. You didn't get stuck in any long weekend traffic, Drake, did Drake you? Drake and Will needs to start um, offering a little bit doing a twin on a loser as well. I'm, oh look, I'm happy to, but I'm not a twin. That's but that, you don't have to be a twin because we've had people come up and say my twin this week was that or my loser. Oh yeah, that, so. true. It's, it's just a theme of the podcast. Like, twin and like yeah. loser as well. You could be that. Like you could yeah. do that. Yeah, just losers. Yeah, you just <laughs> do the losers. Not allowed any. Not allowed to do a twin. No twinners. I was actually. I, I did have a proper loser. I got a, um, a speeding fine. <laughs> oh, I didn't, oh, I didn't want it to be traffic related. So no, no, that. that's fine. Yeah. What what kind of numbers are we talking? It was like three. Over or four over again. Wow. Jeez, mate. Hmm. In Albert Park, I think. So. Well, if I'm doing a loser, I was asked to do jury duty uh, oh, yeah, today right. and it got bumped to tomorrow. And then today it got bumped again to Thursday. And then I'm going to Adelaide on Thursday. So, so you like, were saying off air it. last week that you go there and they almost like test you out before the official thing starts, right? Yeah. Like they have to tick you up and make sure you're fit for the role almost. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, and I think both sides of the particular case are allowed to say, oh, we want juror 17. We don't want juror Correct, 11. Yeah. There you go. So hopefully they don't like me. Um, That's almost a good <laughs> just, but I don't know. I would, I would also love to do it if it's a nice quick yeah. case. But a I, nice court case. Just a nice punchy quick. one. A nice yeah. tight, quick one. <laughs> quick turnaround, yeah. Quick turnaround. Yeah, nice. Um, all right, question time. We had heaps this week, so apologies if yours doesn't get read out, but we'll start with Belinda. Oh. oh well, Ben well, will you, say you caramel slice. Because you've got probably a, a big list. <laughs> no, I don't, actually. Caramel slot. Yeah, but anyone can make a caramel slice. <laughs> like anyone can make a rocky road. Correct. So, I wouldn't say caramel slice. I don't know. Um, Jeez. You can't Have, have you got any for me? Well, you're, you're first. Oh, so you don't have any, obviously. I'm trying to think. <laughs> you both just this sitting there dumbfounded. Dead air. <laughs> dumbfounded yeah. You can't think of one um, thing the other twin does well. What do you do well? You're kicking for God. <laughs> oh, come on, mate. <laughs> That was a free hit off the hip again. Yeah, yeah, no stutter step. That's right. No um, step. I'm trying to think, to be honest. <laughs> Have you got any for me? Well, there's nothing that I'd like to steal because like anything that if you we do, you I do, do well, yeah, I'd, I'd be true. back myself in to do well as well. You'd back yourself to do better? Yeah, mostly. Every like single what? skill? Every single skill in the world. Well, none that jump out that would oppose <laughs> that, yeah. Well, well, I'm the same. So. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> Why are you getting so defensive about this? I'm not. Uh, this is why we call you the Grinch. So, How am I the Grinch? You haven't got anything to give back. At least I was actually thinking. <laughs> so, Belinda, just... the I'm answer sorry, is Belinda. nothing. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Belinda. I really would like to help you out. But... It was a good question. They probably. both think they can execute every single skill better than the other. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably a fair <laughs> assumption. <laughs> Let's move on. That's really funny. Is it hot in here? Mate, it's so oh, hot. I'm I'm I can leave if you want. I'm, I'm about to die. They can never get the temperature on you. Oh, uh, Krista from Bendigo. 
Hi Ben and Harry, it's Krista from Bendigo. Love the podcast and your banter. Really look forward to the eps dropping every Tuesday. My question's for Harry. Um, Harry, how is Bunny going after the recent um, incident he had with the other dog of being thinking about Bunny and hoping that he's okay? Anyway, um, have a good Easter, guys. Good luck this weekend and go Blues. Thank you. Thanks, Krista, for the question. Bunny and checking in. Bunny? I saw him on Sunday, actually, for the first time in a while, little Bunny. Ah. He's put on some weight, I reckon. In a good way? Wow. Are you calling Is there him a fat? good way? Yeah. A little bit. Oh, mate. He's it's an observation. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's going pretty well, thank you. Um, yeah, he's, he's a pretty lively little little fella. So his birthday's yeah. coming up soon, I think. No. Oh. You taking him out for dinner or what? No, I'll just treat him to a bit of mince and dry food, I reckon. Nice. Is he scared of other dogs now? Is oh, he has his right? moments, but he's still pretty good. He's very, like, he loves everyone, so he'll yeah. still go up to everyone, but he's a little bit hesitant on some bigger dogs. Yeah. No. But, I don't buy him. Yeah, no, he's in good spirits, thank you. He's, um, I think he's going to get a groom this week, actually, so. You need to bring him in again. Yeah. Yeah. Love to see Bunny. Yeah, we can, we can maybe look at that. <laughs> we can maybe look at that. <laughs> <laughs> he would probably beautiful. get so bored Like when he was When he first came in He was just sleeping the whole time Yeah He would just be running around MJ can look after him Yeah, yeah MJ yeah. Give him a bonus MJ is capable um, We should quickly shout out This billboard by the way Thank you to Cindy from Roval Hill Who uh, sent this in on the Bolty Yep So Great I think, I think Cindy's Cindy. earned herself A t-shirt as well basically. Yeah we'll get Cindy that's, a shirt For sure um, So yeah Great thanks. work Go Big H and Blues Even now that you're At a, a bigger club Ben Still a lot of Blues Blues love on the pod. Well, I, don't, I mean, I don't mind that. Yeah. As long as they're supporting the podcast. That's true. Yeah. I don't, to be honest, I don't feel it's necessary to say go blues after every, or whoever you follow, but <laughs> well, I reckon it's great. <laughs> I just think a bit more go dons if you're, if you're a Bomber supporter. So. I don't mind. I'm not faced either way. Yeah. No. And I hope we haven't lost all the North people that were listening. No. No. I think there's been a few that say I wouldn't, I won't listen to it as much as I normally would. But <laughs> which is fair. Which is fair enough, but. We love all our fans, for sure. Nice. Uh, Joel. G'day, Benno, Harold and Rollo. It's Joel from Carisbrook. Just want to start off by saying, hey, H, I think you're playing some absolute elite football. Um, I think you're, you've are you been the number one rated Carlton player for the first three rounds. So keep it up. And, yeah, look, really looking forward to round 13. I think it's going to be an absolute classic. Uh, I think I've got my best hypothetical question for you so far. Uh, question is... How many footy players would you need to take on a full-sized silverback gorilla? And who would be the first five of your own teammates that you'd pick? Go, boys. Wow. Hand, hand, hand. Uh, that lost me a little bit. So there's so a silverback talking... gorilla at full forward. So there's just one of him? Yeah. Well, we only need him. And we have to try and kick a goal. <laughs> is, so, <laughs> is he the defender? <laughs> well, the, the whole team's made up of gorillas. Or was it 18 gorillas? No, I think Joel's suggesting that you're going to need more than one person to, to keep to, But so to what? Is he actually going to try like and... He's just one member the of the team. The gorilla's trying to tackle us and corral us to the boundary. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand the question. I'd back myself in one-on-one against a big dopey gorilla. <laughs> well, then, then just Joel. run and he won't be able to catch you. All right, Joel, we're going to have to pick this one up next week and clarify for us <laughs> what you mean. We're a bit confused. Um, well, is it... Talking as you do, like try and wrestle him and take him down. Well, I assume the gorilla knows how to play footy. Let's just say it's trained in footy. But and he's still slow. And don't be, <laughs> what if he's a mid and he's just like a, a contested beast? I think we just need clarification. I reckon you'd, you'd outcraft him. What if... What if <laughs> outcraft You'd hope so. Just a double lead. Yeah, just double back. <laughs> what if the gorilla has hands on the footy? How many people could bring him down? What's the size of a silverback gorilla? <laughs> That's a good point. It's enormous, like huge. Like I, I'm gonna let's look nearest the pin. How many kilos do you think is the five hundred? Oh, oh, you could be right. I've no idea. Five hundred. They're not that big, are they? What's two two fifty, I reckon. Gorilla max weight. Um, all right. The heaviest ever was six foot, and he was two sixty seven kilos. Yeah, so but they can reach three ten in captivity. Yeah, it's you yeah. know when you're you were five hundred. Oh, it's not far. <laughs> He's been in captivity for a while. <laughs> 300 kilo gorilla. Yeah. You need a couple of us, probably. <laughs> the two of you. Yeah. I wouldn't need one leg each. Wouldn't need Harry, but drilling down. Yeah. Um, yeah, just to follow yeah, up just, for us. Just some Joel, clarification. Just to... <laughs> we, we don't mind it, but just we need some clarity. What was the one we had about Shrek? 
Was it we rather, rather have Batman, Batman or Shrek? Batman, was it? it was like a draft or something, wasn't it? Yeah, would you draft Saving Batman the world or Shrek? Draft. <laughs> uh, uh, draft, yeah. Finally, Maya. Shrek. Maya? 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 Maya. Maya. Well, fuck. <laughs> so is that necessary <laughs> there? Like, yes, I just it, don't think it's I necessary. Love, we like to hear who they go for. <laughs> Thank you, Maya. That's great. We love hearing who you go but that's for. That's not on Maya. It's just that she just does it because everyone else does it. Yeah. But would you say it and I say it at the end of an episode as well. Yeah. yeah. I only say it because you say it. And if I don't say it, then you're going to rag me for not saying it. Hey, well, this... I like to say it. It's go blues. Like, who... yeah, it's great. It's fine. Yeah, well, this is just a rallying, a rallying call rallying, for mate. It's just bombers. Good. Bomber supporters. Yep, just get your, your supporters to yeah. rup, 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 spit it out. Give us a go Dons or a go Ben. Yep. Go Beano. <laughs> go, go Buckets. Uh, who grows the better beard? As we're well, sitting here, you know, shaved is off. It looks like a baby. Yeah, I do look about ten years. You younger. do it completely it's, de-ages it, yeah. you, <laughs> it and it would do the same for you, Harry. Yeah, you yeah. you currently have one. How yeah. many how many days growth is that? You reckon? A couple of about twenty four hours. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't know. I haven't been fully clean shaved in ages. This is this, this is like a one or a two. Yeah, it wasn't like a razor. I probably haven't been like clean shaved in six months. I reckon. Yeah, just trim it back a bit. Who grows the well, beard? I get patchy like near my chin, but un- under my chin's pretty sharp, like pretty thick. But yeah, I'll I'll probably, I wish I had Michael I'll, Hurley's got a really good one at the club at the yeah. moment. Hurley's is, is in pristine shape, but yeah, yeah. Who grows? Do you, pro- mine's probably a fraction more uh, consistent. Like maybe I don't know. Essentially, you 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 probably rock the baby face a little bit more often. Well, I feel like I go to one extreme to the next. Like I either grow it out a lot, and they're all shaved. Yeah. but you seem to keep it a bit more in in the middle somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> You back so. your own beards in? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Some <laughs> wouldn't, question. Wouldn't trade. Um, oh, God. And finally, we like going on Media Street when one of us has done so. And this is you, Harry, on the Saturday Rub. Oh, I thought Bernie was about to say he was yeah. listening to it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Bill always likes to um, yeah. bring up the name of the podcast. It's quite funny. No, it's we, good. Do, we do a little bit with Bill, so. Yeah, nice. Um, yep. Yeah, thanks for the shout out, Connor. Always a nice shout out. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Good. Wasn't a great shout out, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a drive by. <laughs> it's a drive by. Yeah. Uh, nice one, boys. Quick. S- so, gather around. Are you going to Adelaide, Will? I am. Yeah, I'm going on Thursday. Nice. So, you play Thursday? Ah, uh, Saturday. Oh, hang on. Ben plays Saturday. We, we uh, play Friday. Oh, you're Friday. Yeah, yep. Thursday is Melbourne. Uh, um, Mel- Melbourne, Adelaide. Big Adelaide, game. Adelaide, I think. Big game. Um, nice. Yeah. Huge. Huge. Looking forward to it? Or yeah. you got clinics galore? A couple of clinics, but not too I think, bad. I think we're doing one. We do it on Saturday after the game. Yeah. Yep. So we're home just after lunchtime on Saturday. Oh, that's right. Fly up on Thursday, so. Yeah. Um, yeah, it'd be good. Looking forward to it. Can't yeah, wait. Nice. It's a fun week, so. Yeah. Yeah. If I see you there, Rollo, I'll say good day. For sure. Yeah. I'll, I'll be in and around Adelaide Just in the hills. Every man and the dog will be in Adelaide one yeah. day. It's going to be heaving. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. Bloody earth. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Uh, Insta and TikTok, head to at Ben and Harry Podcast if you want to check out some of the content on there. Send us a DM. Give us a go Dons. Go Dons. Nice. Nice, man. That was good. Give us That's a go good. Blues. Three, two, one. See you later, Rollo. Have a good week, mate. <laughs> nice. Go, boys. Oh, uh, bloody hell.